It is Haunted Health Month here at Somnimed, the month of October. Welcome to our Somnimed Dental Digest. <laughs> It is indeed Haunted Health Month. And when you think about obstructive sleep apnea, what could be scarier than all of the comorbidities associated with this problem? From high blood pressure, risk of stroke, heart attack, congestive heart failure, it's all there. It's all wrapped up around obstructive sleep apnea and it is incumbent upon our dental professionals to take care of this problem. Our RDH Airway Ambassador team of clinical dental hygienists is busy at work delivering multiple webinars every single week. The purpose of these webinars is to aid the new sleep dentistry practice. Your practice, you're just getting started into treating OSA with our Somnodent oral devices. Log on to one of our free 1CE webinars with one of our incredible Airway Ambassadors, you won't be sorry. The information they're bringing to offices around the country is phenomenal. We're only three months away to the end of the year. Your patients in your practice have met their medical deductibles or they're about to meet the medical deductibles. And it's gonna take a, a long time in order to get patients through this process. It does, it does take a while. You need to verify benefits. We need to get patients worked up on their home sleep test. All of this takes time. Now is the time to fill the funnel and get your patients help with their obstructive sleep apnea. One of the things that we hear most often in our Somnimed lab is how offices have trouble submitting to us the perfect bite registration. I'd like to bring Dr. David Rice from Buffalo, New York back into our videos and help you guys understand how he takes the perfect bite. And keep in mind, Dr. Rice has just started treating sleep in his dental practice. So we're gonna record digitally or physically master impressions of the maxillary arch and of the mandibular arch. And then the only thing that's gonna be new to you if you've not done this much or at all is you're gonna use a SOM gauge and that's gonna help you record a bite registration. So here's what's really important to understand. We want our patients in a protruded position, right? This is a mandibular advancement oral device. We know if we pull their mandible forward at night when they're lying down and sleeping, that it's gonna drag their soft tissues away and it's gonna help keep their airway open. When you're doing this process, you have to understand um, one, how it works, and two, how to keep your patients safe, and three, how to statistically use this device and understand what it does. So imagine, as you can see, we're placing the SOM gauge in and we're test driving range of motion for our patient. I want to know how far forward our patient can bring his mandible and how far back. So we want to get him as retruded as he can go and we want to get him as protruded as he can go. And then I like to look at it and take an average. What I prefer to do, because I feel like it's much more predictable for a patient to, to repeat their bite and find a stable position, is I just mix up some vinyl polysiloxane putty. And I wrap that putty around the bite fork, as you can see. We seat it in the patient's mouth. We have them bite right back into the same position that we've practiced a couple times so they know where to bite into. It's a two and a half minute set. We slide that out and we're in great shape. The number one error point in this process, this clinical process, is you and I don't deliver a great bite registration to Somnimed. So by using the bite fork that's a little bit longer and getting back to the second molars, piece of cake, it eliminates any worry whatsoever. Understand that whether you scan or you make a physical impression, that our level of accuracy is pinpoint and Somnimed's level of accuracy on their end is pinpoint. So, until next month, remember, get some sleep while you still can. <laughs>